I'm Kev. And I'm Steve. And we're from the internet. Want to help us spread the we're from the internet word? Leaving us a five-star rating and review on iTunes and Stitcher would give us a nice little boost in the search results and help new listeners find us. What do you think your life will look like in ten years' time? Oh, when I read that over your shoulder, I didn't think it started with think. Because what I think my life will look like in ten years' time and what I hope it will look like are so extraordinarily different. It's ridiculous. I think if you put a gun to my head, I think I'll be teaching and writing books and doing podcasts on the side. Because that's what I've been doing for years. Because... Mm. I don't know. Something has to go massive. I, I would love to be full time Kesteven Media, just doing harebrained schemes. I don't even want to be a full time podcaster or a full time author or a full time anything. I want enough money coming in from different income streams <laughs> yeah, to I, be able to randomly do whatever I feel like. Ah, today I feel like doing some YouTube. I imagine if right. Where I think I, my life will be in 10 years' time is probably I'll finally own a house and my wife and I will both have jobs and we'll be, I'll be bored, but I'll still be doing audio... Like, bored of the fact that we haven't any, got anything else ahead, really, other than what me and Kev do with the shows and the books and all those harebrained schemes. I'll still be doing schemes, so pretty much the same as you've just said, but I think we'll have a house and we'll be settled. Well, me and you will have a house. No, me and my wife. That'd be, that'd be a weird but, turn of events, won't it? But I do imagine... I do like, And I also think that... Um, I mean, I'm in a job at the moment where I can go, if if everything goes to plan, I can get quite, you know, move, progress quite well through that, I think, if I understand the lay of the land properly. But if well, I, they listen, so they'll tell you if you're wrong, <laughs> exactly. won't they? But if I imagine what Castiva Media was like in 10 years' time and what I think would happen if everything went well is I think, what, like you described, we'd probably have s- set ourselves... I always sort of joke to my colleagues that if they buy a new office, I want them to have a room set aside that we can borrow us the Stephen Media offices, um, where when I'm not at work or not working, we can nip in there and do some shows or write some books or whatever, and it should become our office. But I like to think that we'd have some sort of place where we just turn up whenever we damn well please and <laughs> churn out some videos and churn out some shows and... We've got enough income from all these different things that we do that we can afford an office that's just got Castiva Media above it. I want a business card that says Kevin Chapman, raconteur slash vagabond. That's what I want my job title to be, because I don't want to be pinned down to one thing. I want it mine to say raconteur slash bantermeister. They're the same thing, aren't they? You have to pick one. But I like that. Bantermeister and swagmeister generally. See, I'm thinking, ten years in the future, my youngest kid's going to be just about to turn 19. My life as a vagabond could begin. (laughs) I I want to just sell everything I own, buy a Winnebago and a jet to transport around the world in, and just go wherever I damn well please. You're not going to have jet money, surely. No, the jet's ridiculous, but I want to be able to go to America if I want to in my Winnebago, so I guess stick it on a big boat for six months or however long it takes to swim over there. Ten years, my son will be nearly 13 and my daughter will be 16. But I want to be sat here thinking, you know what, I fancy going to Japan next week. I'm going to go and have a Japanese adventure for three months. Get Anna in the boot of the car... Or let us sit in it, maybe. Uh, <laughs> all, all the kids are off doing whatever they're going to be doing, and we just take Dave with us and go to Japan and eat sushi and record a few videos, write a book while I'm there, and just generally just be a complete lunatic doing whatever I feel like. But I don't know. It's, everyone wants that, don't they? Yeah, I think they do, but at the same time, I think we're more likely to make it happen. Like, ten years' time, I'd be quite happy to be in a position where I'm so high... Like, because I imagine... My, my, again, my bosses always say that in ten years' time, they want to be on a yacht, floating around the world, just chilling out, because the company's going motor. so well. They won't need to float. They can, <laughs> they can drive it they somewhere can drive they it, want. Yes. But, um, yacht money, but not yet petrol money. But fingers crossed, that means that... They're high enough that they don't need to be there. You'll be on a around the world. Up. But I'll maybe be in a high enough position in the organisation. I'll have time to 
you know, jet set a bit, you know, go to their Japan office and then spend a week there while I'm just chilling They'll probably refer to it as their Japanese office rather than their Japan office. (laughs) Um, You know, I'll go along and they'll be like, uh, you know, bowing to me because I'm Mr. Bass coming over from England. Ten years' time, I want to be a Japanese millionaire. Actually, you know (laughs) what? A year's time, I want to be a Japanese millionaire. How many yen is that? 20 or something? Well, no, it's a million yen. No, no, I mean, how many pounds is that? Five grand, I think, is Japanese millionaire territory. So, again, that's that's a... this time next year, business card, Kevin Chapman, Japanese millionaire, <laughs> and just move up from there because I want to take over Deeping Rangers and I want a headline on the back of the local paper, Japanese millionaire takes over Deeping Rangers football club because I'm just living in football manager then and it just amused me. <laughs> I, I just, uh, yeah, um, we're shutting down now. I was really only in this for the headline. So, um, <laughs> had five grand. yeah, stick, stick, stick the balls back in the bag and I've, we're developing houses on the pitch, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> but it, I'd frame that headline and put it in my downstairs You'd toilet in my mansion. you the houses that you could then buy into posh or something. Japanese millionaire <laughs> buys Peterborough United. <laughs> <laughs> and then you just build houses on that. Yeah, exactly. Slowly work your way up until yeah. you're bulldozing Old Trafford to put houses on it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Japanese millionaire ruins football. <laughs> There's a headline for you. <laughs> Perfect. So that's ten years sorted. Well spent. Yeah, exactly. Um, if I, I love my job, but I don't know if I could. I, I worry about becoming institutionalised as a teacher. I think you are already. No, I don't think I am because mm, you're getting there. I mean, no, because I don't do the taking stuff home to market and doing i don't there's a few there's a little pocket of people like me where i work at the moment and we keep each other sane because while everyone else is beavering around working 18 hour days we just get on with what fundamentally is a really easy job because we've lived in the real world and done real jobs and it stops us becoming institutionalized you just snapped my brain a little bit because i thought 18 hours and then thought no that's pretty much how many i did Yeah, and it's ridiculous. I don't understand why anyone needs to do it. And I still have these moments where I walk into the staff room, and they're not as often now, because a lot of the people who were guilty of this have moved on. But certainly last year, particularly, I would walk into the staff room at half past three, and there'd be a group of people in there moaning about how they've got no time to do anything while they sit around drinking tea and moaning about how they've got no time. And I'd, I'd just stand there and think, well... I've just done an hour, I'm going to go and do another hour now, and then I'm up to date, and I'm going home. If you didn't sit in the staff room drinking tea and moaning about how much you had to do, you wouldn't have to leave at five o'clock with a bag full of markings. It would be done. What is wrong with you people? And I don't... I, I couldn't... And if I ever caught myself doing that, I think I'd just resign on the spot. Huh. I wouldn't need a plan. I'd just... No, that's it. I'm resigning on the spot. I'm fairly confident I can go and get a job somewhere else where I'm not going to become like that. What on earth am I doing with 10 hours a day that I've gained from not being a teacher, other than commuting for three hours a day? What am I doing with the other seven hours a day that I gained from leaving teaching? Netflix and YouTube. Seems to be, doesn't it? It seems to just be (laughs) watching stuff on Netflix and and sleeping slightly more. I have like an hour's extra sleep, so six hours a day that I'm wasting on YouTube that I could be (laughs) writing and doing stuff in. This is why we need that manager from yesterday. Yeah. Well, I assume we've had applications in by now. Mm. This, uh, this episode is probably moot by this point because we've got a manager who's pulled this episode. It'll never see the light of day. And they told us to be more focused around this episode. So we can probably say swear words and all sorts now. Might cancel on my Netflix and internet. By the way, we can swear on here now because our new producer man knows how to cut them out. We won't because it's a lot of work for Stuart. But he... Um, we we said a we said a swear on mature gamer. Well, I said two, and he uh, he just bleeped them both out. Good on him. He learnt to do it without deafening people. So there you <laughs> go. In ten years' time, I will be able to mute out my own swearing without deafening people you and getting complaints. It, no, that's that, that's what other people are for. Hi, Stuart. By the way. Want to get your question answered on a future episode of We're From The Internet? Head over to we'refromtheinternet.com slash question, tweet your questions at Kevin Steve, email kevinsteve at gmail.com, or post them at facebook.com slash kevinsteve, or even leave them in the comments for this episode.